everyone i'm gonna see if i can make this video a little bit quicker than the last one uh hopefully you can read what's on the screen uh, i understand it might be a little bit too small uh, i'll see if i can put it in the description um like just like this picture so then you can go ahead and pull it up and you can read it that way um, just to summarize everything that happened uh, i basically put here the timeline of it um i mean just just to keep this video really quick uh i made the order on the 15th um and what happened was is that i had added it to my cart and by the time that i added it to my cart uh, one of the agents out there um uh, from driveway started to reach out to me asking me a couple questions or i i basically asked a couple questions and then i mean i informed them that i made the order and then they started to talk more about like they, they sent me the purchase proposal, which they asked me to confirm via text. I mean, um, there was a bunch of concerns in the middle of all this just because they asked me to make like a $500 deposit. Um, they, they give you like a little portal where you can make the payment. And then once you make the payment, um, that's deducted from the down payment that you make. Um, but you do this you mean without them even confirming if the car is still there which that's the part that annoyed me i mean they don't even know and they're willing to take the payment uh, which i guess that makes sense just because why are they going to reserve a car if you're not making if you're not paying anything i mean it, it kind of makes sense but it's again it's a little bit more it's a little uncomfortable i think that's one of those things where again i i like i said in the first video i think buying a car in person is just way more convenient um, I'd rather deal with that hassle of the uh, salesman or the salesperson as opposed to dealing it with, uh, online and just so much uh, like unclarity behind it. You know what I mean? Um, so, yeah, I you mean, you mean after I accepted the purchase proposal, he asked me for pictures of the insurance and the ID, uh, which I sent via email. Um you mean I expressed my concern to him about the whole thing. I was like, "How are you making the reservation?" And I, you already accepted the payment. He goes, "I understand." And then I think soon after, in the same day, he confirmed to me that the car was reserved. Um, so it was, you mean mine at that point. Um, so this was on the fifteenth of November. The next day, the sixteenth, I uh, got reached out. Uh, someone, a delivery coordinator, reached out to me confirming that they ordered transport for the car and they were just waiting for a driver to accept the load. Uh, basically meaning that they don't have drivers like Carvana and, and Vroom and their own little trucks and stuff. They have like uh, independent drivers come pick up the car and send it. Um, so on the 18th, uh, I was informed that the car was scheduled to be picked up on the 19th and that it would arrive at their hub on the 26th. Uh, going on to the 23rd, um, I received an email from Lithia Motors slash driveway that my car was on the way to me. Um, the agent confirmed that the status doesn't change the website. The, the reason I put this here is just because just for anyone else that uh, if you do end up deciding to purchase a car through driveway, just so you're aware of this, it doesn't update on the website. Again, I don't know. I said this in the first video that I think it was a joke because coincidentally the day I asked was um, when the car was showing up and the person was like, yeah, it doesn't update because your car showed up. Um, I genuinely think that it wasn't so much as a joke. I think it was, uh, th they do have an issue with this, that it says like there's three little status updates on the website. When you go on your profile for your order, it'll say ordered like in trans or in transit and then delivered. And it never said in transit, nor did it ever say delivered for me. I don't believe I never went back and checked, but just so you're aware while you're waiting for the car, um, the delivery coordinator, uh, coordinator confirmed that my car is ready to be delivered, asked if I'd be ready for it at like a specific hour. I remember they texted me and they're like, you want to meet up at four? I said, that's fine. They were bringing it to where I live anyways. Um, I, I got the car. I did a little walk around. Um, I mean, was one of the people that they bring because it was like someone that there was two people that worked from driveway. Um, they one drove the car and the other one drove one of their like company cars. And one just asked me to sign all the stuff. Another one inspected the vehicle and told me like the noticeable damage and stuff. Uh, I noticed some extra damage after they had left already, but just minor stuff. I didn't really mind it too much. 
Um, I reached back out to them because uh, I noticed that they didn't give me anything. They gave me like a little piece of paper. Um, fortunately, I didn't take a, I didn't scan it or anything to show you guys, but it essentially just says like, you mean that they inspected the vehicle with me and then I sign off on it. Um, but they didn't give me like the dealer documents, which you mean like the bill of sale, anything that had to do with my guaranteed insurance, none of that, uh, none of the stuff that I signed. Um, so that was on the 23rd, uh, when I got it. And so, you mean, I asked them and then you mean, I think they replied to me, but this, I don't blame them too much because this was during like the holiday week. I mean, you got Thanksgiving going on. But uh, it took until I think the third I reached back out to them because I didn't receive the documents. Uh, but they eventually replied to me on the fifth and told me that they would look into it. So from the 23rd, I made the request. And then by the fifth is when they said that they were looking into it again, because I remember I asked on the 23rd and the agent was like, yeah, we'll we'll check into that for you. And like I said, it, it took almost two weeks until. Uh, they said they'll look into it again. And then on the 6th of December is when I finally received all the dealer documents that I needed, like the bill of sale and stuff. Uh, then here, you I mean, time flies by. It's the 16th. Uh, reached out to them again since I didn't hear anything about my tag. Uh, and my temporary tag was about to expire. Uh, someone from their DMV team contacted me saying that they would overnight me a temporary tag. Uh, and that unfortunately they were at the mercy of the dealership in order to obtain the tag and I just had to wait. Um, so yeah, I mean, uh, they're, they're quick about it. Like if your temp tags about to expire, you just call them up and they, they pretty, they, they hustle to it and they send you another temp tag. I didn't have that bad of an experience with that. Um, just so you're aware. I mean, if you explain to them, like, look, I need a car and that's what I said. I was like, I need this temporary tag as soon as possible. Cause I, I mean, um, I, I mean, I had to take my car to work and stuff. So they, they jumped on it. Um, and then on the 10th of January, I mean, this is again, uh, I, I know I make it seem very like straightforward. Like there was nothing going on in between. I was texting them in between, but it was just like, just simple things like, Hey, any update? No. Okay. Boom. It was just like that. Uh, but on the 10th, they finally reached out to me to confirm that my plates were ready. And once their processing vendor received them, they would overnight me the tag. And then on the 12th, uh, I finally received the tags and the process was finally completed. So from the 15th of November of 2021 until the 12th of January 2022 is how long it took until the f everything was completed. Um, I had my car. I had my official registration. I had my official tag. And I had all my dealer documents. Um, me, that's at that point was when the purchase was actually completed. I didn't consider it completed when I got the car. I considered it completed the moment that this was done. Um, I mean, I I was very skeptical of uh, skeptical about the whole process in the beginning. So I, I mean, when I first accepted the loan that they offered, uh, it was a legitimate vendor. It was was. Uh, chase auto but because i was too nervous or thinking like man am i gonna get scammed out of something uh so i ended up putting like a smaller down payment than i actually had ready um and obviously this meant that my loan that i was gonna get was gonna have like a high monthly payment and stuff um so that kind of screwed me up because it turns out everything was legitimate um it showed up on my chase uh mobile app everything was good but I ended up refinancing through my bank and um, I made sure that when I did sign up, I asked the guy like this is like a couple of the questions I asked, like, does do you know if Chase Auto has like an early payoff penalty and things like that? Uh, he's like, uh, there is no payoff penalty, so you can go ahead and do that if you want. So I again, I, I did that way after, um, but uh, it something like in case you guys want to know if you. You can feel comfortable. The banks that they use, the vendors they use for their loans uh, are legitimate. I mean, I think I had two offers, one from Chase Auto, another one was Santander. Uh, Santander. And um, so, yeah, I, again, the experience was nice. The The customer support is excellent. Um, I still uh, emphasize that the customer support started to change the moment that after I confirmed that I would like 
that I when he sent me the purchase proposal is when the communication kind of went down south. He was still, you know, I mean, very attentive and you know, mean very nice to me via text and stuff like that. But it was just like it was the response has got slower and slower and slower. It could have been because it was a holiday week. You I mean we were in the holidays at that time. Um, that's understandable. But you can tell that when the moment that I was setting up the order, the responses were back to back. There was no hesitation. There was no delay. But the moment that um, I accepted the purchase is when you mean responses took a few days uh, you mean several days until I heard back. Um, one thing that I found kind of weird too, is cause all of this communication goes on through text. Um, I mean, you'll have, uh, like an, a sales agent or whatever, um, from the sales team, uh, contacting you first, but then a- after you'll have the delivery coordinator and then after you'll have someone from the DMV team and they're all texting you from the same number. So you don't really know all the time who's receiving your message. So I think that if you address it to the person, like let's say in my case, uh, my agent in the beginning was Kyle and then it was Tiffany and then it was, um, I think the last one was maybe Kimberly. I can't remember her name. Um, but it was like it, you, if you address like who you want to speak with, I think they actually forward it to that person so they can reply to you. But again, uh, summing everything up, I highly suggest that you purchase your vehicle through a dealership in person. I think that experience is less stressful. The idea of like how long it's going to take to your car shows up. Um, you mean your money that you're uh, that you're paying, you have to send it through the mail and stuff like that or like through a cashier's check. Um, you mean there's always that 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 nervousness that you get just from the idea of like what happens if something happens to the package and all that um you mean again i didn't like that i didn't get the copies of the the sale right away it took a while until i got it uh there's just a lot of these things that would have been handled a lot more professionally a lot better had it been done in person as opposed to online um, am i happy with my car oh hell yes i'm very happy um it was, was it a good deal i have no idea but to me it felt like one so i'm happy with the purchase but would i do it again most likely not. Would I uh, would I not consider it? No, I would definitely consider it, but it won't be my first option. Uh, go to dealerships, um, especially when cars start to come back in uh, production and stuff like that. Um, things have been a little bit crazy right now because of the pandemic. But, but yeah, that's basically it. Uh, I don't plan to make any more videos about this. This is basically the whole recap of everything that went down. If you have any questions, you can go ahead and leave a comment. Um, Sorry that I take too long. And also sorry that this isn't the most nice looking uh, like timeline. You mean I try to do it very quickly and I just wanted to make sure that it was um, you guys can visualize how it went down, how long it took. Um, If you are in the middle of the purchase, feel free to leave a comment, like I said, and uh, I'll help you with anything you might need. Just give me some time. And um, I'll get back to you, okay? But uh, but yeah, bye-bye.